get this question all the time of whether or not an aneurysm can be stented. And it's not a bad question to ask because in other places in the body, if you have an aneurysm in the belly, that's most likely how it's gonna get treated, with a stent, not with an open surgery. Um, it turns out that in the realm of thoracic aortic aneurysm, the thoracic aorta starts at the heart, comes up and around the aortic arch, and then kind of goes down the back. So I said everything above the diaphragm is thoracic. Aneurysms in the back, which we call the descending thoracic aorta, those can usually be stented. Some parts of the aortic arch might be able to be stented, um, but anything kind of in the front and most of the arch is gonna need some kind of open surgical procedure for a repair. The, the reason is that these segments in the descending thoracic aorta are straighter, and the way stenting works is that it needs to anchor a normal caliber aorta before and after the aneurysm. So if you think of an aneurysm as a, as a tube that has kind of a central bulge in it, that before and after zones of normal caliber, that's where the endograft, the stent graft, is gonna anchor, and the aneurysm is just basically gonna be excluded around it. The ascending aorta and the aortic root are too complex right now for endovascular endograft solutions. Um, the aortic root, again, has coronary arteries and a valve in the middle of it, so that definitely can't be stented right now. The ascending aorta is, um, it's an eccentric structure. It's, uh, it, it's usually, it's curved, it has a natural bulge even when it is, um, even when it's not aneurysmal. The inside curve is shorter than the outside curve. And then of course we have the uh, nuisance of uh, aortic arch branches that go up to the brain and the arms to contend with if the, if the graft gets too long. So I think that we will have endovascular stent graft solutions for the ascending aorta at some point in the future. And I know industry is working on it, but we just don't have them right now.